Welcome back to our channel, How Rare. We are the Helenas, and in today's video, you're watching part one of a two series video that we're gonna be posting. Yes, we're trying something new, so if you don't like it or if you like it, please comment down below and let us know. And if you wanna watch the video that we're gonna post next, please subscribe and hit that bell button so you can be notified as soon as possible. And so yeah, um, we've been having a bit of a rough week. A little, you know, boring staying home all the time and not knowing when we're gonna be able to go out is giving most of us anxiety. So we thought it would be a great idea to make a video of funny pictures that we have and also some embarrassing stories to share with you guys. And I'll get right to the video. So I'm going to start from the youngest picture that I have till some what recent pictures and um, share it with you guys. So this is the first picture that I have and as you can see I look very nosy and I don't know what my mom was thinking dressing me like that. Look like a little sheep with a little bit of a, you know, cotton ball on top of my head. Don't get me wrong, I still look cute, but my mom thought it would be funny dressing me like a boy as well. So she just jumps from like outfits from boys to girls, boys to girls, I don't know, just to confuse people, I feel like. And it was funny for her, but like left me with these kind of pictures. And that's my aunt, one of my aunts. So yeah, and my friends, Hills, everybody else, do not hold it against me. Don't say this explains everything. I'd like to share about these pictures as well. Did you know when I was a kid, my mom dropped me? You know, I landed with my head, <laughs> cracked my two front teeth, the only tooth that I had. You know, like being a kid and being like an outcast wasn't good enough. Like, I was the weirdo running around kindergarten with no front teeth and everybody had all their teeth and I was just like damn my life was so hard you know biting into a sandwich it would be like a you know a gap in between that had like some bread and you know what I mean it was, it was, it was very difficult my friends used to laugh at me all the time next picture is a picture of me and my cousins it was a holiday yeah we were just it looks so funny I, I I'm probably gonna get a few calls from them and you know an earful for sharing this picture but please enjoy um, it's Bethel on the left and Yosef on the middle and I am all the way to the left what? no I'm sorry I am all the way to the right sharing this picture has made me you know realize another embarrassing s situation I've been through and I go through this all the time I don't know why but I cannot tell my right to left it's just always confusing I always have to check my hands you know lefty righty like the, the other way like I always have to check and even when I'm driving sometimes when the GPS tells me like make a left and I'm like which one is left oh yeah left and it's always confusing I don't know why and I also always confuse like these and these and like oh it was hell it reminds me of another embarrassing story there was a neighbor's dog and he was chasing right behind me and I fell and I broke my um, wrist on my right hand and just like uh, most of you guys I use my right hand to do everything and so when I was in first grade that happened and my professor was just so rude like she was she was just so horrible to everybody I don't even know why they kept her man she was just rude like you would tell her oh I have to go use the restroom and she would say no and like kids would pee on themselves and everything oh she was horrible anyways we had an exam and it's like you're in first grade it's like writing stuff down and I couldn't write it because I had my left hand and like I'm saying my I'm not blaming my school for this or anything because they helped me with a lot of things with like notes and stuff like that they used to give me copies of other like kids notes and whatever but it was an exam so it was a written exam 
I could not write it right and she failed me. So every time you get an exam, there's a signature with a stamp on it that says the date and the signature of a parent. My dad was, you know, he's just like, you know, Asian parents or African parents are really strict. They want you to get all A's, they want you to be smart, they want you to like, you know, all that. So he does not, my mom was understanding, but my dad just was like, no, you have to get an A, you have to do this, you have to do that. So there's always that thought behind my back, like behind my head, that was just like, oh shoot, what am I gonna do? So I signed him myself. You know, I wish I used a pen, but no, 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 I used a color. I used an orange color put my dad's signature, the date, and gave it back to her. And she was asked me, oh, hey, did your dad sign this? And I was like, yes, he did. And then little did I know I was on a break and I turned around and it was not my mom's and my dad standing right behind me. I passed out. <laughs> this was surprising because we don't have a lot of family pictures like this in my house whatever the reason is i never thought i had a family picture and i found a family picture of my grandmother my mom my dad and me such a surprising picture to see um little me you know probably with a mouthful of whatever i was eating yeah fourth grade and i'm sure hills you were there in this class but yeah something that i never thought i would have to say or tell anybody um I don't know what I ate, but <clears throat> it was a quiet class and I let one go, you know? And the whole class li literally turned around to one of these kid. Like, I mean, I guess like if you always, you know, let one go, everybody's gonna look at you, you know, because you've always let one go, you know what I mean? Every time, so everybody's like, oh my God, we're so sick of you. Why did you fart? Did it did fart it did it did fart it and I went along with everybody and I was like you fart it you fart it and blamed it all on him and I am coming clean and I'm sorry bro I didn't mean to do that and this is another picture and this is why as I was getting older I did not like taking pictures like I do not feel comfortable it was always like a weird angle like i don't know which side is better i don't even know if there's a side to look better at i don't know but i just hated pictures and um one of my cousins was visiting and one of my other cousins was like oh let's go da -da 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 -da. she's in the middle her name is Rupka, and she we li we literally grew up together and um, yeah, the, my cousin on the other side is the one that, you know, came to visit. Why I posted this picture is because I wanted to tell you this funny story. So it was a holiday and most of my cousins and my aunts and uncles and my mom, my grandma, everybody was there. And I'm an introvert, so I don't in really enjoy holidays or family gatherings or anything of that sort. And my mom calls me out of my room. She's like, come up. Da -da 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 -da. So I'm just like, okay, fine. I don't want to hear it. And I just went downstairs. And, you know, they're having breakfast, coffee, blah, 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 celebrating. And my uncle goes like, hey, pass me the remote. So, you know, back in the days or even now, you know, you got to get up and pass it because like they don't want to get up i guess the older you get that's one thing i'm gonna do to my kids i'm gonna be like hey pass me the remote even though it's like right in front of me i'm gonna be doing that because i've been through that and so i got up to pass him the remote and i was in the middle of the living room everybody's around me and my cousin that's in the middle you know in the picture she comes and pulls my pants down and with it my underwear and everybody started laughing and it was so embarrassing oh my god i just was like oh my god it was the worst moment of my life i mean i guess yes it's not a big deal it's just in front of my family but you know i still get teased over. it was 
depressing and sad, but that happened. And last but not least, since it's Mother's Day this past week, um, I would like to share a picture of me and my mom. I just want to say, Mom, I love you and I appreciate you for everything you've done for me. I was 13 and yeah, do I look like my mom? What do you think? Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed part one of the two series that I told you about. So like I said, subscribe, hit that bell button, and next week, next week. It will be Hilda's turn. So please let us know in the comments below if you like this, if you have anything to say, if the same thing happened to you, you know, more likely wouldn't have happened, but if it did happen to you, if you share my pain, please comment below and let me know. I love you guys and stay safe, stay sane and be happy. Thank you for watching again. Bye!